Lucifer comes to Cantunia, the indigenous man, and basically makes a deal with him and says, I'll build the whole church for you in exchange for your soul. From this day forward, I'm going to ink my pen. Watch it bleed from the tip on the paper bag pen. Dirty rhyme schemes on that hard green white. Keep it on the Hey fam, we're here today. Initially, we had a plan to go to a haunted uh, prison. It was a prison where a lot of inmates were brutally murdered. It turned it into a museum and a lot of people started reporting that once they left the museum or once they were inside the museum, they would feel like really strange energies and a lot of people would get sick and vomit and feel all kinds of ways. Yesterday when we went, we found out that they had closed it. It was being torn down. So we kind of got stuck on a paranormal trip, but we're gonna explore, show you guys a little bit of stuff and tell you guys the myths and legends of what makes up some of the center of Quito. So the first church we visited was La Basilica. The church is one of the biggest churches in Ecuador, if not the biggest. It's actually the church that never gets finished being built. So the inauguration of this church was in 1924. That's when it officially opened its doors. The legend behind this church is that the rocks that the church is built from are some of the most precious, rare, and most valuable rocks that you'll ever find. If you look at the outside of the church, there's actually the statutes of, instead of gargoyles, they have condor, which is a bird that's very, very big. I think it's even bigger than an eagle. But these birds are known to be very, very vicious. So they're built from that and nobody has dared to touch or replace or even um, do anything to the rock that these condors are built out of because if they do, it is said that a whole band of condors will come and attack whoever tries to do that, ultimately ending up in their death. It's also said that during the period of construction that there was a lot of believers who contributed money as well as material and equipment to be able to complete this in exchange for their name being inscribed in the rocks that were being bought. The Basilica, which is a church where we're about to see, it holds all the souls of all the believers whose names are engraved in the rocks that every time that their name on the rocks is named or said that these souls come back to life. So legend has it that the church will never ever be finished being built. It will always be under construction because the souls that are trapped within the church will not let that happen. Because if the construction of the church is finished, then their souls will no longer be able to come back to life. Hey guys, so we just climbed up all of that. I don't know if you can see it, because, but after that there, it's like a straight drop. But we're heading up to La Basilica, which is one of the oldest churches, one of the biggest churches here in Ecuador. Um, we're going to try to climb all the way up to the top and see what we can find. That's my cousin Abby. <laughs> here we go.
que me iba a morir. Yo dije que ya iba a muerte. Yo dije ya me morí con toda mi cámara. So coming up the stairs is one of the scariest parts of getting to one of the highest points here. The ladders coming up are really shaky and the steps are really thin. So when you climb up, it's almost like a loss of balance. We go back down and we're gonna go head over to the tower where the clock is at. Oh, Estoy temblando. can't go up to the clock tower because it's under renovation right now um, but usually you can go up there and you can actually take a picture inside the circle where the clock is but we're gonna go back now and look at some other churches and see what we can find the next church that we're gonna go visit is called the Church of San Francisco this church has a really interesting story a long time ago when the church was being built the fathers that lived in the convent all came together and they decided to give the contract to build this church to this very poor indigenous man named Cantunia. The time span that he had was six months to construct the church. It was almost an impossible feat, but he decided that he'd be able to do it. So he hired um, other indigenous workers to help him complete the work, but because it was such a large church and the work was so tedious and very hard, by around the six month mark, almost at the six month mark, with one day to spare, he realized he wasn't going to be able to finish as they weren't even halfway done. The day before the last day that he had, according to the contract, to be done with the church, Lucifer comes to Cantunia, the indigenous man, and basically makes a deal with him and says, I'll build the whole church for you. I'll have my little demons build the whole church for you in exchange for your soul. And because Cantunia was being offered a large amount of money to be able to finish a church, he decides to agree to the contract under one condition, that every little rock would be put in its place, that nothing would be amiss from the church, that every piece would be done, everything would be absolutely completed. If the church was absolutely 100% completed, then Cantunia would give his soul over to the devil. So the demons worked all night and finished the church. By midnight, the devil comes back to Cantunia and is like, hey, my demons built your church and it's 100% completed. A deal is a deal. You need to give me your soul. So Cantunia comes over to him and he's like, wait a minute. The church isn't completed. There's a rock missing. See, what happened was that before the demons actually started building the church with the equipment that they had, Cantunia took one, like a big rock that was supposed to go in like the bottom of the church he took that rock and he hid it. So when the church was completed, that one rock was missing. The devil had realized that he had been outsmarted by this indigenous man and that he could no longer fulfill the contract because the church was quote unquote unfinished. So this is the story of Cantunia and this is the church of San Francisco. of rock that's missing. Instead of there being a hole there where the cable is, there's supposed to be one of those rocks put there. So we're about to go inside the church. We're not allowed to record, but this is the church risked his life for. This is it. I really 
hope you enjoyed all the stories, all the legends from my beautiful Quito. Um, there's so many more. Thank you so much for watching. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. Catch me next time for some more shenanigans. Remember to always keep adding color to your canvas. Until then, be brave, be kind, y viva la vida. Bye!